the concept of autoresponders tonight and uh, using automation in our marketing. It's probably the most important thing. If you're, if you're starting a business, an entrepreneurial business, you have to contact people, you have to engage with people, you have to make sure that they truly understand what you do. You have to let them know, obviously, because the amount of people who buy something or build something, like a website, expect everybody to come along to it, and it doesn't work. So we've got to go out and we've got to go and engage. We've got to capture people. I'm going to talk about the, 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 the importance of uh, databases and things like that. First, let me just quickly go through so you understand where I'm coming from and why I've got the cheek to stand up here and talk to you. Um, I've been in marketing for around about 35 years. Uh, I come from the corporate IT background. Uh, I learned a lot of that, the, the, the sort of concepts of marketing in, uh, in corporate IT. But now I've been doing, uh, for about 14 years, since around 2003, I started providing genuine services to what customers. What I'm going to be talking about tonight is something which I think is probably the most important part of marketing. I could talk about lots of things. I mean, literally hundreds of subjects. But I would blow you away. There's too much stuff. So what I wanted to do was to focus on a few things. I'm going to talk about creating a simple focus sales funnel. What that actually means. How to use marketing automation to segment and serve prospects and clients. Uh, the, the key word here is segment, and you'll understand why in a while. Deliver information offers, uh, uh, information and offers, which is based on behavior. So in other words, if one of your clients or prospects does something online digitally, clicks on a link, goes to a web page, all those sort of things, you can change the automation because they've, they've behaved in a certain way, they've got to see some, a certain piece of information or have clicked on something which is relevant. And you can say, I don't want them to carry on down this road anymore, I want them to go down this road. Does that make sense? Now, if you imagine what that actually means, on a digital, on a digital basis, if someone's gone into an email that you've sent out, they could be a standard prospect, they might have seen you at an event or you know, got your business card or something like that and you're giving them some information which is a pretty straightforward, what Aweber does is like you can put an email out and then two days later put another email out, five days later put another email out, that sort of thing. But what if they click on a link? What if they do something? You don't want to keep on sending them the same buy this, buy this, buy this, you know, emails. You want to send them to a different structure. They've clicked on a the link, they've gone to see a video and then you can say, right, you've now seen this video. So the next email could be, you've now seen this video how about buying this? You've already seen this, why don't you buy this? Or you've seen this, why don't you come along to this event or this webinar? That means you're actually creating a behavioral pattern through your funnel. That is mind blowing. This is what some of the things that Aweber and GetResponse and uh, MailChimp and all those things can't really do very well. So I'm gonna show you how that can happen. Things like Infusionsoft. Has anybody heard of Infusionsoft? It's really quite an expensive product, but it's incredibly sophisticated, and that does that. But it's quite expensive, and this is one of the reasons why we deal with Active Campaign, because it does those sort of things, but it's cheap as chips. And this is what we want when we're first starting up in business, is something that's going to be affordable to you. This use. is a pretty much so, a, a very standard way of looking at sales funnels. Sales funnel is a marketing mechanism to entice interested prospects into your business. This is where you're basically sticking a flag up and saying, I exist. This is what I do. This is who I am. And this is why I think I can help you. Now, every one of you have got products or services or want to provide products and services that will make a difference to the client. So this top end of funnel is where you throw everybody in. But what to? And that's the question. What do you throw people into? A lot of people send people to their website because they think that might be a good idea. One of the talks that I do, because I do quite a few different types of talks, one of the talks I do is, is your website killing your business? Because every time I look at my prospects' websites, when they're asking me to look at their site, to see what's, uh, see what's there, see what their web presence is like, I look at their Facebook page, I look at their Twitter feeds, I look at their YouTube, I look at how they do video and things like that. But the key thing is looking at their website. What are they actually putting people into? Where, if, they, if they're putting stuff onto Facebook and they're putting people into their website, what psychologically is actually happening at that point? 
And I've got to tell you that marketing is 80% psychology. The technology is just 20% of it. What you plumb in, plug in, design and draw and all that sort of thing is hard sometimes, you know, creating sites and creating landing pages, creating um, you know, technical funnels is not the easiest thing in the world. However, it's the psychology. Why is someone going to your website in the first place? Why are you put, how are you putting people into the top end of your funnel to entice them, to become part of your world, to know who you are, to know what services you provide? Why are you better than your competitors? It's not, it's not easy. You can't start straight away and do this. Affiliate marketing is not something that you can do straight away. You've got to build up a reputation and authority with those people. It's a bit like the bloggers. You know, you see the bloggers who make literally millions a year. They've been doing it a long, long time and they're selling advertising, they're selling other people's products. But they've been doing it a long time and they've got, they got literally millions of people that subscribe to their YouTube accounts. So it takes time to get up and running. So that's why you've got to do it from here. It's not just a business mind, it's a business heart as well. You've got to do it from your heart. If you've got to love what you do, it's the only way you can actually motivate yourself to get off your ass and actually go and do it day in, day out. Any part of the funnel, you're going to have a product or a service. So even right at the top here, you're going to have something to give away. As I say, it could be a PDF, it could be a little video series or a little piece of software or whatever it is. So what you really want need to understand is, what's the marketing goal? I want to give something away to a hot audience. So you're not, you've got to forget about selling product to the end of it. The only thing you'll think about at the top end of the funnel is, what is my marketing goal right here? I need to give it away and I need to get a name and email for giving that information away. Once we've actually got people into this funnel, they've gone into the top end, they've put their details in, their name and their email, you're going to send them somewhere. You're going to send them to a process. Now, we call this a bridge to offer sequence. This is how we actually turn prospects into customers. In other words, all the hard work, the marketing we put at one end, we're going to turn them into paying clients at the other end. And this is the full funnel. It's a sim simplified version of it, but it's basically the full funnel. So what we've got here is when people put their details in, you send them to a welcome email. Now that welcome email could be, here's the piece of software I gave you, or here's the first video that I promised. And then we can build a sequence of emails. And you can think about this long and hard before you launch it. What do I want to tell my, my prospects, the people who have actually come into this funnel? What do I want to do? What's my first email going to be? What creative elements do I need? Because most of the time you're going to be sending them out to other pages. These could be pages on your website, they could be specific landing pages that you created at the back end of your site that people don't normally see. So, in other words, secret pages that people can only see if they're in the funnel. But can you see how powerful this, this is? This is where you build your, your reputation, this is where you build your authority with these people. This is where you get really visible because you can not only send them out to things like uh, a web page, a landing page with a video on it or something like that. You could send them to the Facebook page and say, today I want you to go and join my private Facebook group. You can only be part of it if you're here. And again, this is where software comes in because it can actually inform you when they've gone to here so they know they've got the message about the Facebook group. because we're taking them off either Infusionsoft, which is too complicated for them, or taking them off MailChimp or, or uh, you know, Aweber and all those sort of things because he's not doing what they want to do. And we're transferring them over, saving them a lot of money in the process. I've got to, even, even MailChimp is quite expensive when you actually start paying for it. I know it's free when you first start, but if you're still on MailChimp free, then your business isn't big enough, you know, bottom line. So that's why we started this off. We started doing this, this uh, members only training, so you buy it through us. The great thing is that we don't charge for our membership. You just buy active campaign. We get a, a cut at the back end, we're a reseller, so we get a, we get a percentage cut at the back end. We don't need the money. We don't need to put an extra um, cost on top because we're doing training. 
So it's a bit of a no-brainer. If you're going to go to a, uh, come out of Aweber, go out of um, you know, uh, get response to Mailchimp and all those sort of things, and you want to go to Active Campaign, you just buy it through us. You're just paying the same price as Active Campaign would charge. But you get the 21-day training. You also get a number of other things. This is the 21-day training. You can see what we've got here. Fundamentals of marketing automation. Completing this assignment will enable you to build a simple but effective lead generation funnel. These are not complicated videos done by a techie. They're done by me. And I'm pretty straightforward to goes into that. Can. And as you can see, there's yeah. a lot of different things in there. And this isn't just about using active campaign. This is about how to build a landing page. There's one on how to build a landing page, what software we use, how we use it, how to build it, bit by bit, over my shoulder. I click on that, pull that there. This is how you put the forms in. This is how you put the, the rest of it in. So this whole series of training will give you a step-by-step. -step. You take one every day. You don't watch 21. You watch day one, and you go and do what I tell you on day one. The idea is that after 21 days, I would have helped you build a business habit. You will know how to use the software, now how to build landing pages, you will know how to do automations, you will know how to send emails to people on broadcast. But you do one every single day, bite-sized chunks of training. That's how expensive it is. See, most of you won't have 500 people in a database. This is for 500, 500 people. So if you've got anything less than 500 contacts that you either want to Take out one, like take out of Aweber and put it into Active Campaign so you can start marketing through Active Campaign. It's going to cost you $9 a month. Can I ask a very, very simple question? Who can afford $9? I expect to see everybody's hands up. Come on. Yeah.